Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is CJ and I'm from the base building team here at Blueprint. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a custom Town Hall 15 base that I built for a customer that has been holding quite well in Legend League. And specifically, it's been holding quite well against Royal Ghosts. I want to quickly say that it's good to have a base that defends various strategies, not just one strategy. This is, by this I mean in Legend League, obviously, because People come in with different armies. Not everybody's using Royal Ghost. Some people are using Blizzard Lalo. Some people are using Queen Church Lalo. So it's important that you have a good design that defends multiple strategies and not just one. And that is Royal Ghost. This base right here has been holding Royal Ghost quite well. And it's also been holding against different strategies. So this base right here is quite OP. And I do recommend you to give it a try for yourself and seeing how it does. Uh, shout out first of all to Drake. Not the rapper. The customer right here, Lord Drake, for sharing us, uh, for sharing with everybody the base. He ordered a custom base from Blueprint, uh, uh, and I built a base, this base for him, and it's, he's been super happy with the base, um, and he was willing to share it with everybody. So shout out to him. And right now, I'm going to get into the tips and tricks, uh, and at the same guy time, show you guys a couple of replays of the base being hit by Royal Ghosts. Now, to defend Royal Ghosts, most people uh, tend to take bats with Royal Ghosts because they tend to target splash defenses and then send the bats for the rest. Now, one thing I do recommend is using an anti-2 because it's extremely annoying to get that town hall. And if they don't get the town hall, bats can absolutely do nothing to the base. Now, as you can see, he's sprinkling his um, uh, Royal Ghosts to get the uh, Wizard Towers or the splash out of the way. As you can see, my splash was beautifully spread. The wizard towers we have on either side here, and we had one here and one right here, and my scatter shots are nicely spread far away from each other. And right here, we have something called overlapping, which is important to have when you're trying to defend bats, and people do take bats with royal ghosts, and that combination is quite common. So having a little bit of overlap is quite nice on your base, because once the bats come in for this scattershot, this multi is covering the scattershot. So they would have to freeze simultaneously both defenses to try to at least get the scattershot. Or the multi, uh, either scenario works. But overlap is quite important if you want to defend bats. As you can see, he is also running into my Tesla farm at 3 o'clock. And one thing you want to do and try to defend bat, uh, try to defend Royal Ghost, I'm sorry, is to make it harder for the Royal Ghost to get your key defenses, that is your scatter shots, your multis. What you can do is place the Tesla form in front of the scatter shot in this manner, as you can see, and he's struggling to get that scatter shot. He has to invest more, Royal, and he's already down to four Royal Ghosts, and he hasn't gotten either scatter shots, and not the final uh, Wizard Tower either. So, as you can see, he is in big trouble right now. So, he forces his uh, heroes into the three o'clock side because of that tesla farm and one thing that another tip i can give you guys to defend royal ghosts is to also place your skeletons um close to the scatter shots because remember royal ghosts can also target skeletons so while they go for the while they try to go for the scatter shot if the skeleton pops they will rather target the skeleton and then the uh, attacker is forced to lure the skeletons away and it could cause a time fail and time fail is a huge defense in my opinion when it comes to Royal Ghost because it's extremely annoying to deal with. But as you can see here, his RC dies, his heroes dies, all his troops are dead. He doesn't have Royal Ghost anymore. And look at the bats coming and swarming. He has to for freeze early the multi, but as I said earlier, overlap is extremely important when it comes to defending bats. And look at the scatter shot, absolutely destroy every single bat there is. And bam, there we go. A beautiful defense right here. Uh, and we have a couple of more replays as well. I'm going to share with you guys. Here's another one You're right here. Once again, we see the combination of bats with the Royal Ghost and same thing again that the attacker is trying to get the splash out of the way. But as I said, important, but get your Tesla farm in front of your key defenses get skeletons in front of your key defenses as well so that the attacker has to lure them away and just spend more time doing this more investment at the end of the day you want them to invest more royal ghost so they don't have any for the back end and as you can see here giant bombs a great way to kill uh, royal ghost i'm sorry for the hiccup <laughs> but giant bombs are a great way to kill the royal ghost and as you can see he's forced to send the log launcher from 12 the we still have two wizard towers and the scattershot alive along with two multis so he has to get through a big chunk with these heroes to be able to bat this base as you can see he starts his bat, bat bombing the scattershot 
but he misses the first freeze on the wizard tower he comes in with the second one but there's no more nothing else he, he has he can do because he's out of spells he's out of freezes and yeah he either he quit the attack right there or time run out because royal ghosts are very time consuming and here we have a one-star defense in fact with the royal ghost and once again we see the combination of bats a lot of people are using bats at this range with royal ghost um and let's see once again this guy is trying to sprinkle in the royal ghost trying to get the splash out of the way and look at the skeletons beautifully distracting these royal ghosts and he's forced to play like look for example this he's trying to he's trying to send the royal ghost for the scattershot but the skeletons kept distracting here at six as well as you can see those skeletons are very annoying if, especially if he doesn't have archers this guy didn't choose to bring archers so it was quite annoying to deal with as you can see sends in his heroes with a blimp to town hall. i think this was a mistake right here he missed the warden ability on the blimp and the blimp popped inside the dead zone in fact it was quite beautifully hit by the monolith right there and the yeti bomb does not get the town hall and the heroes die and the bats can't do anything against the town hall so beautiful defense once again and shout out to drake uh, once again for sharing the base with everybody the link of this base was going to be in the description of the video uh use it and let us know how it does for you guys in the comment section uh, i hope you liked the video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned a bit of tips that you can do to defend against these royal ghosts and i hope you guys have a nice day make sure to use code blue if you purchase anything of the game um, and i hope everybody uh, has a lovely day and goodbye